The walk-on girls wrestling team has qualified three wrestlers for the state tournament this weekend in Coralville. Head coach Danny Bucknell joining us. And Danny, uh, talk about the season as a whole. Uh, how much progress did you guys make as a team uh, from when you started in November to right now? Um, I would say lots of progress, which has been nice to see a lot of growth from a lot of the upperclassmen and even um, some of the freshmen coming on board. So that has been really good. I feel like we're wrestling at a pretty high level where we wanted them to be by the end of the year. So um, we're right where we want to be. And going back to last Friday, you ended up qualifying three wrestlers, uh, four state out of that super regional, but from uh, those of us on the outside looking in, how much of a physical and a mental grind is an event last like last Friday? Because uh, you got to do a lot of wrestling to qualify for state on the girls' side. Yes, you have to do a lot of wrestling. And some of them um, were wrestling back to get to that point. So it is a mental grind and you do have to kind of be ready and prepared. And mats were constantly switching um, at Mason City on Friday also. So just having them, you know, be aware, like you could be up at any time. These mats might be changing to this other thing. So you do have to be up and warmed up and just ready to go and put the pressure on the girl that's in front of you. Is there a way to prepare your wrestlers for that uh, other than experiencing it? <laughs> yeah, um, not really. We do try to get to as many meets as we can. Um, obviously, they're not as, you know, hyped up as the regional is, but that's really the only way to prepare is just to get into individual meet meets where they're having to wrestle multiple times and up against multiple different competitions as well. So, and uh, you did get a regional champion at 100 pounds with uh, Mia Kurth, another uh, very good year for her returning state place winner at that weight class uh, for the last uh, two years. Uh, discuss uh, Mia's season. What makes her so successful? Um, her name is Maya. It's okay. It happens at every every oh, single yeah. meet. <laughs> um, I feel like I go to the head table for her more than anyone else. Um, she uh, has really grown. I, she's been with us. This is her third season. So um, really looking forward to her um, seating at state also. Just her growth. She wrestled a lot over the summer, which helped prepare her for this season. Um we kind of put her in certain weight brackets over the season to get in against some stiffer competition. Um, and then we've kind of been calling this sort of like her redemption season because there was some people last year that she really wanted to get up against and come back and win against. And she has gotten to face some of those people and ended up uh, with a win in her corner. So. And with the resume that she brought back going into uh, this season, I know this is sometimes tough to do in such an individualized sport as wrestling, but has she kind of been a team leader for you? Yes, 100%. She's definitely a team leader. Um, she's kind of out there trying to go the extra mile and put in the time. She's always willing to ask, you know, about certain opponents, what she can do to help Um she also takes other people in the room and wrestles with them. You know, someone who maybe is just kind of starting out or starting to figure some things out, she'll help them through different moves. So, And McKenna Kurt, uh, going to state for the first time, uh, what has uh, made her uh, successful this season? Um, she is very scrappy. She gets herself into some scramble situations sometimes, but she just has more natural wrestling ability, I guess. Um, and some of those things just aren't coachable and she has that. So as the year has progressed, she's just really learned a lot more moves and how to get herself out of certain situations and into certain situations. So that's been a really awesome progress to watch. And uh, Chloe Hemmer's back, I believe going back to state, if I'm not mistaken, yes. at uh, 190 yep. pounds. Uh, what's made uh, Chloe successful this year? Um, Chloe is a lot of horsepower, which we love uh, in the room. She uh, also just mentally preparing herself like for wrestling and we've got to wrestle the entire three periods and just, you know, being there for everybody in the room as well. So. And uh, three wrestlers uh, heading down to uh, Coralville this week. Uh, what's the week, uh, this week of training and practice like as you before you head down to uh, Coralville, which I assume you'll do on Wednesday? 
Yes, we are heading down on Wednesday. Um, we've really kind of been grinding pretty hard. Um, I feel like when you get to this level and you get to state, a lot of your matches are not going to be 30 second matches because everybody who's there has earned the right to be there. So we want to make sure that we are physically prepared to wrestle six full minutes. Um, and I mean, we kind of talk about if we can wrestle six minutes, a lot of other girls maybe can't or aren't used to that. So we want to be the ones that outlast. So with uh, Maya and Chloe going back to state in this situation, how much does that previous experience perhaps help going into this weekend? It does help a lot. Um, so it's nice that we do have an underclassman with them because they can kind of show McKenna the ropes a little bit. It's nice to have already wrestled in the facility and you're already kind of under that spotlight and that pressure. They can just sort of chill a little bit more and not get so much into the hype of it. And you mentioned uh, you have wrestled in this uh, facility uh, before. Uh, and I know the wrestling mat is the wrestling mat and uh, you measure it to uh, any gymnasium. It's uh, going to be the same way, but right. knowing where to go and knowing where to weigh in and knowing where the locker rooms are, everything like that, uh, does that just add on to a little bit more of a comfort factor and uh, knowing the fact that uh, going into a gymnasium, you don't know uh, that uh, can add to a little bit of stress for lack of a yes. better term. Yeah. Um, we do try to wrestle in the facilities, even where regionals was, we had a meet previously in Mason city the week before so that we knew where to go. I mean, I think everybody kind of gets a little more anxious when you're looking for, Oh, where are the bathrooms even where are the locker rooms? I don't know where I'm supposed to set my things. Um, and this year we did wrestle down in the Donnie Brook, which is also in the extreme arena. So they're all prepared. They know where those things are and they can just relax a little bit more and not be so stressed out about the physical aspect of being in the arena. And uh, what's going to take to have as much success as possible this weekend? Um, well, I guess just preparation. I know their mindsets are good coming into this um, preparation and just actually really good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, nutrition needs to be where it needs to be uh, for them to make weight and that kind of stuff. But I think we're sitting in a good spot to get three people on the podium this year. So all right. Uh, to it. All right. Hopefully that's exactly what happens uh, come uh, Friday night uh, coach. Congrats on getting three uh, wrestlers to state and uh, hopefully they can keep climbing the ladder uh, come uh, Thursday and Friday. We wish you best of luck. Thank you. Danny Bucknell, head coach of the walk on girls, three wrestlers at the state tournament this weekend.